So I think one of the hardest things for any guy is kind of going out and doing that first initial approach. And I think what's funny is however many times you are going out and uh, doing cold approaching, that first approach is always the hardest. And I think part of that tends to be because of the mentality that men have, this kind of idea of like, oh, I'm going to go and approach, I've got to go and talk to her in this way and that. This very sort of strategy, military-like uh, language that, that men use. And, and so it just kind of creates this added pressure and certainly unnecessarily as well. But I was uh, catching up with a friend of mine because uh, I'm going to go and see him in Norwich this week. And uh, we were reminiscing about when we were going out and doing cold approaching. And when we did it, we'd really kind of throw ourselves in the deep end. We would do like 12 hour days. We'd literally dedicate like a couple of days or put a couple of days aside from normal life. And we would just sort of focus on doing approaching. But each day it would always be the same scenario of that first approach was always the hardest. And I remember once we were actually walking down uh, South Bank and I don't know if you've, uh, if you're in London or for those who have certainly gone down South Bank in London, you always see a lot of like buskers and then there's like people who have got like, uh, there's always like performers and they do like presentations and stuff. And of course I've got my cat sitting in the uh, the camera screen as well, uh, but I, we'll, we'll carry on anyway. Um, and um, uh, we were walking down there once and we sort of we were seeing someone who was like blowing bubbles and things and we said right we've got to burst the bubble and we kind of had a bit of a giggle about it but we realized that by giving doing that first approach a really silly name it made it i suppose a lot less scary so I have this idea, especially for this video, uh, I want you to consider the idea of just giving a really silly title to doing that first approach. Now, you can call it bursting the bubble if you want, exactly the same as us. I mean, we call it either that or bursting the anxiety bubble. But most of the time, we kept it silly and we just said bursting the bubble. Why not either use that or create something that is more unique to you? Something that just gives doing that first approach, something really silly, quirky, geeky, whatever, but just something that takes away that level of intimidation for doing that first approach. <laughs> Lily. Deary me, right, cats for you. So I want you just to consider again, just to take away that level of intimidation, make doing that first approach a lot less scary by giving it a title that just makes it sound absolutely ridiculous. So I would love to hear in the comments below what title perhaps you use for uh, for doing that first approach, or if you end up using the, uh, the bursting the bubble uh, term yourself. But other than that, if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more anxiety content. If anything, I'm going to go and have to feed the cat now, otherwise she's certainly going to interfere with any other future videos that I make today. But like the video, subscribe, let me know in the comments below how you get on with uh, with creating a title for yourself and, uh, and certainly look forward to more videos coming from me, that dating anxiety guy. Come on, Lily, let me feed you.